All right, so we're back over here working on the pump pack and assembly. I'm sorry, the uh, bearing assembly. So we gotta install this ring in here. You need to line it up with the notch. All right, so I actually got pretty confused here. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I need to put my locking pin spring, or my locking pin. Um, there's two different holes you can put it on, one on each side. Uh, so the way I ended up putting this in here, as you'll see later on in the video, um, is not really the correct place to put it, but I basically just go with it. So try to notate, if you're gonna have to pull this bearing assembly off, try to notate where it needs to go because it's important later on. So we want to install the pin on this side, here. So we also look at our jacking bolts. They're in the same areas. Trying to eyeball the hole in the side here. Hey, it looks like it's all the way down because the hole is like flush. So let me just try to run this pin through there. Did I forget something? Probably. Yeah, so uh, what you're witnessing right now is a little bit of me realizing that uh, I just forgot to put the uh, water seal in before I put the sleeve for the adjuster ring in. So, don't forget to do that. Alright, so we gotta order a, uh, uh, a seal here. <clears throat> for this and we've ordered new bearings too so So we got that nice and flush on this side. Check them out on this side. Alright, it's nice and flush on this side. That's good. So now we can put our adjuster ring back in. So I'm going to go ahead and install my spring. I think. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I believe. There's only one hole that you can put the locking pin in for the adjuster ring sleeve. So if that's the case, I'll have to double check, but you'll want to install the locking pin for the bird cage on the opposite side of the pin for the sleeve. And then you should have you shouldn't be able to mess up your Clocking of the so bearing this house. is going to fit in here like that and then push through and then snap into that groove spot. In theory.
Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I really struggled getting this pin. I said in the spring, um, trying everything I could think of: sockets, pliers, pry bars. Eventually, I just ended up calling Omar over there to help me, and we tag team it. I didn't, <laughs> really didn't think this part was gonna be hard at all. Well, these what? No, I'm good. You get that out. Your old dad. We didn't think this was going to be the hard part. Um, that one might be too big. Go for it. Oh, there it goes. Right? Oh, yep. It's there. There you go, man. Oh. Uh, I'm on you didn't hit record. No more got those. No more got those. No more got those. Sometimes you just need a, a friend. This is per perfect view right here, man. This is how uh, pump packing is. You pull this out. Oh, sorry. Then you can adjust it tighter. And then when you get in the spot, you set your pin, you lock it, and this is what you're looking at. You pull this out, flip it over on the little step, and then you can adjust your pump packings. Okay, so we got our gasket in place here. I'm gonna grab the bearing housing assembly. Start sticking it on. Try to squeeze my bird cage in between there. All right, so I have my cage in position. You see if these bolts are long enough to where I can just suck this thing up in there. Okay, so after about 20 minutes, I'm looking for something that's gonna fit on this thing. Found me a pipe with a nice plate on the end of it. Striking plate. So, be sure we got this thing set up in there. Just need it to go a little bit further. Right about there, I think. There's a lot of rust on there. Let me clean that up. That's cool. It pushed my, it pushed my uh, pump packing in. 
I mean, that's what I wanted to do. I mean, that's what we're there for. So you can see how it was sticking out before, and now it's in there. So eventually we'll adjust that. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, this bearing kind of came out a little bit. And I'm gonna try to drive it in to where it's flush with the housing. And then I'll be able to put my gear on and the outer bearing. Over there. Don't want any of that rust in our bearings. that pin drove in uh it is just just below the surface of the gear we can pull this nut out both of these are new bearings and i had to order new bearings because i don't want to take any chances both in soaking and 8090. Uh, they came with grease. I had to clean all the grease off of it. Feel hard when you don't have any room to swing your hammer. Start finishing doing these bolts on the side. Get some Loctite. Hi. We got all of our bolts tight. They're torqued. Don't ask me to what? To tight. Thanks. Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and put the gasket back on right here. It goes right here. Put this one on. Okay. 
I'll put all this right. one back on, okay? Uh, we double checked all of our bolts here. They're all tight and torqued. We got some rotation here. It still spins, that's a good sign. So, put this gasket on and then uh, we'll probably go back to the pump transmission, flush it out while it's on the ground, and then um, fill it up. And then we'll be ready to put our uh, pump transmission back on. Well, I screwed up. Um, make sure that your bearing housing is clocked right. I think I have mine one bolt off, and I guess that crap still bolts up. As you can see, that arm extension there for the bearing holder was hitting up against the gear on the uh, pump transmission. So I had to take all this crap back off. Hey, I guess it's a learning lesson. Learn from my mistakes. Make sure that's clocked right. I thought you could see the pin a little bit easier on this side. Usually you can't look up straight and see the whole pin. So either I got it one bolt off or a couple bolts off or I got it upside down. Okay guys, so this is what happened. I had my um, bearing assembly here 180 degrees off. So now my adjustment pin is going to be down on the bottom, which I don't think that should be a problem. It'd be easier to access. All I'm thinking is why they would put it up top is if ever the spring was to break out of it, then gravity would keep it down inside the cage. But I just tested this um, and it seems to be working. So what ended up happening was this brace, I guess, where it holds the bearing in place, was actually down about right here. And it still, the transmission still went up in there, but uh, it wouldn't rotate anymore. So, all right, we got everything put back together here. I got all my valves, uh, all my drains closed. So, we'll go fill it full of water and then I'll uh, start that break in process. Okay, so this is where I'm getting my information from. Uh, it's uh, the Hale Products Manual for QMAX. Uh, uh, step 12 there, operate pump normally about 15 minutes and check packing gland if necessary. Readjust the packing nut accordingly. That's why we're running it for 15 minutes here. Um, I'll check it again. Uh, right now, as, at the moment, we didn't have any drips. It's been about uh, seven minutes probably. Um, we'll, uh, we'll recheck it here in about eight minutes. Let's see where we go. Okay, it's been our 15 minutes. So uh, we're gonna crank this up to 150 PSI and see where our drip rate is. It needs to be uh, 30 drips in one minute at 150 PSI. So we're gonna pull our pin. Rotate it up on the step, which is the other direction. There we go. Try to take a pry bar or something. Since these are brand new, we should be able to adjust them fairly easily. I'm gonna go back towards the transmission. So I'm gonna tighten. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna rotate it right to Send it back into 
pump transmission. I'm just going to go with one spot, I think. So I'll rotate it. Put this back in the lock position. And I'm just going to keep rotating until it falls in. Alright, it's a pretty bad camera angle here. There it goes. Can I go too far? No, that's it. Yep, it's locked. Okay. I'm gonna fire back up and turn up the PSI and see what my drip rate is. Hey, so I actually ended up adjusting this pump packing one more time because I wasn't completely satisfied with the drip rate. This is the final adjustment. I think I loosened it up another notch and um, got that drip rate within spec. Um, it's about 30, 30 drops per minute. So... Alright y'all, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, appreciate y'all sticking it out. This is going to be a long video, I know. Um, always remember, if you're going to be replacing that bearing uh, housing assembly, make sure it's clocked correctly. Um, that's, I wasted a lot of time on that, but at least we learned something, I guess, right? Um, so hopefully this helps out. I haven't really seen a full video on start to finish on pump packings. So, I wish someone would have made a video like this back in the day for me, but, you know, I'm making it for you. So, that's it. See you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't just follow the wolves. Be in the pack. Later.